No. You are looking at body cam footage of Portsmouth officer Christopher Darden and Sergeant Michael Blankenship risking their lives to save another. I got this arm, so you can go ahead and pull out. Where's the weapon? Pull your arm out. I got it. Uh, you got it? Okay. I think it came in as a suicidal person in the water, and it was right behind the hospital. This all unfolded last October. They were told he was armed. And the water's cold. We know he's injured. We don't know how bad for sure. But we also yeah. didn't know what he had either. Try to talk to him as much as possible, just to come to us and you know work it out, and even just to show us his hands, just to see what we see what we were dealing with at the time. Now this is all happening on the other side of Portsmouth Naval Medical Center. Blankenship and Darden arrive in their cars, hop into a fire department boat, and head to this person threatening to harm himself. And when they first spot him, he's in neck deep water. They try to talk to him for about 15 minutes, but at some point they realize he's about to make good on trying to take his own life. What did you see that told you we gotta act now? Uh, it was the change of his face for us. That and he, he was making movements to stab his neck. Is anything going through your mind as you were thinking about getting in the water, armed individual, he's combative, mm -hmm. this could go south? Save him. I mean, that's what we're here to do. And that's what they did. So how quickly were you able to get off the boat, kind of regain your footing in the water, and then get to him before he did any damage? That's funny, because I, I could not remember yeah. what happened from the point I jumped off to the boat to the point that I had my hands on him, I had to go and watch his footage yeah, I mean, to see what happened. Yeah, because all I remember is, no, 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 no. Then, that was it. Then we had him. And then that was it. That's all, that's all I remember too. Yeah. And it wasn't that close. We had to slog through the water. You put your lives on the line. At, at, at the end of the day, yeah. Yeah, and that, that's kind of, as officers, I think that's the expectation for us. Right. Um, we're supposed to preserve life. So at Portsmouth Police Headquarters, a little surprise for these two. What's going through your mind? Very appreciative. Appreciate the love, definitely. Your thoughts? Yeah, this is a surprise. Typical example of the police standing here. And they are what policing is. Um, they did what probably anybody in this room would do. For those reasons, News 3 also wanted to present you Christopher Darden with an Everyday Hero Award, Michael Blankenship with an Everyday Hero Award. We have a community partner, Southern Bank, and Southern Bank uh, wants to give you guys a $300 Visa gift card. So you guys get to split a $300 Visa, Visa gift card. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Nicely done. What an incredible story. Absolutely. Now, these everyday heroes are also being honored with Valor Awards. So if you know someone who is doing the right thing when no one is looking, just email us right here at everydayhero at WTKR.com.